Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil and the big news is that Angular 13 has been released in the market. And in this video, we will talk about some updates and new features of Angular 13. But before that, I want to clear one thing. Some guys are actually asking me in the comment box that uh, now Angular 13 is released. So is Angular 10, 11 or 12 are they useless? The answer is no. Why? Whenever any uh, framework update the, its version that time they just add some new features right that doesn't mean that they are just uh, changing the structure changing the code flow and changing the syntax and all everything is same they just add two or three or four new features only right so guys if you already learned angular 10 11 or 12 that time just you need to uh, uh, look on the new features of angular 13 and you will be at the same level but if you learn the uh, angular 4 or 5 or 6 that time i will recommend that you must recap the latest version of angular it can be uh, 12 or 13 why because uh, between angular 4 or 5 to angular 13 there is a lots of new features and uh, maybe you will just miss them that's why uh, if you are just uh, working with the older version of angular then you must have to recap the latest version like angular 11 12 or 13 right so now let's talk about the new features first of all let's get get into the topic then we will uh, discuss uh, all topics one by one now type typescript uh, 4.4 is spotted by the angular view engine is not longer available in the uh, angular after that node.js older than 12 is not worked with the angular and uh, they added some improvement with the angular cli we will talk about all these things in detail but let's take a just uh, you can see that the topic name and all after that uh, rxjs version is also also updated in the angular validation improved ie11 support is completely removed from the angular and there is some minor changes also so we will discuss all these things also so now let's talk about the first feature uh, actually that is you can see that that is the update not actually the feature which is typescript update they updated the typescript 4.4 support with the angular previously they are just working with the angular 4.4.3 or 4.4.2 uh, now they are not supporting the lower version than 4.4.2 keep in mind right so how we can see that they are supporting angular 4.4 so i can show you uh, whenever you will just uh, uh, guys one more thing i will tell you that how you can just uh, install the angular 13 also but at the last of this video so if i am just opening the package.json you will find that uh, if i am just searching here type then here you can see that uh, typescript 4.4.3 is present inside the package.json so this is the current version so don't be confused between 4.4.3 and 4.4 the the both are actually same actually 4.4.3 uh, the last three is actually just uh, you can say that bug fixes and all that's why i did not mention it here so you can say that uh, they are supporting now 4.4 this is a similar thing with the 4.4.3 because this is just a uh, bug fixes and all this is not a major update all right after that the second thing is uh, angular completely removed the view engine actually they are using the iway engine uh, rather than the view engine because this is the more reliable more you can say the better than uh, the previous uh, view engine and they actually already announced in the angular 12 that they will be remove uh, view engine in the upcoming uh, versions and now in angular 13 they are completely removed it and now as, as i told you they actually use the ivy engine or you can say that iv engine and some guys actually say that this is the angular next generation compilation and rendering pipeline so you also can say that this is the engine or you can say that this is the rendering pipeline as you want to just say that right so why they remove the view engine the reason is actually this is the there is some performance issue second thing now already they have the new engine which is the iv engine so they don't need view engine and after removing the view engine files angular is little bit lighter than 
the previous version right node.js support now node.js only support uh, the now actually angular support the node.js uh, version 12.0 and above it right where they need it actually i can show you in the package.js and you will find that if i'm just searching your node there is a 12.11.1 right what is that actually so whenever we are using uh, or we are installing the npm package or we are making the build with the npm and, and the node that time we need a node.js version and if this is the lower than 12.00 then it will not gonna work with the angular 13 but it will definitely work with your existing project if they are just uh, written in the angular 11 12 or the other version right and now you may have a question that what is the current version of node.js current version of node.js is 16.13.0 right all right so they actually uh, add some uh, major improvement in the cli also so what actually they did there they provide the persistent build cache so whenever you will create a build uh, your build speed speed will be increased by 68 percent and uh, obviously they are using the cache for it and if you want to turn on and off the cache then you can do it by the angular dot uh, json file okay let's talk about the rxjx so what is that actually this is basically used for subscriber and observable uh, things in angular so uh, for uh, you can say that for more clarity you can say that uh, uh, in react yes we are using the redux for state management and in angular we using the rxjx for uh, state management but we don't need to install it externally it is already been installed by the angular package whenever you are just uh, installing the angular project the this is also set up with the angular i can show you so if you just search uh, rxjs in angular you can find that uh, 7.4.0 version is available here right and previously they are actually using the 6.x version maybe 6.1 or 2 version right now they actually uh, add improve some validation thing kind of things like uh, in previous versions we cannot enable and disable uh, validations like min max and uh, email and max length and min, min min length kind of things right but now you can just enable and disable these kind of things dynamically ie support they actually completely remove the ie 11 support from angular and uh, due to that again angular will be a uh, little bit faster and little bit lighter why because uh, to support the older browser like uh, ie 11 they need to add some polyfill files and now they don't uh, they are not supporting the ie 11 that's why they also remove these polyfill files and automatically it will become more faster and more lighter some other changes actually they uh, improve some test beds uh, they just uh, create a stable localized uh, APIs in previous version there is some bugs minor bugs actually but now they are uh, completely stable this is basically used for localization or you can say this this, this is used for internationalization and they also just improve some uh, validation error message also uh, so what they actually improved in error validation I did not know till now but uh, uh, I will just create a separate video for that how they actually improve the validation error because uh, for that I need to go through with the angular 13 documentation and this is just released that's uh, that's why I did not uh, go through with that that uh, angular 13 version and soon I will create a video on it so this is the official blog for uh, angular 13 here you can see that the all things that I just shown you uh, inside this uh, slides the all are present here so now let's talk about how you can update or uh, angular cli or how you can install angular 13 for that firstly you can simply use npm update angular cli minus g so if this command uh, will not work for you then what you need to do you can just remove the angular cli and install it again but most probably uh, first command should work and if as i told you if this is not work then you should go for the second one how you can check that uh, which angular is installed in your system just simply put here ng version and that command will tell you what is the current version of angular cli 
and angular cli will basically responsible for install the latest version so here we can see that angular ci is basically 13.0.1 this is my node version and this is my npm version and everything they are just telling me here and again you can also see that angular uh, dev kit core 13 uh, semantics also 13 and angular is also 13 thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos